to my channel welcome if you're new today i'm just going to show you guys what i carry in my backpack as a senior pre-med student this bag is a jam sport bag i got it the semester that we were allowed to go back to school after covid happened it has a few battle scars all over it as you can see but it's still strong it's still wearable and i still love it i love the cute heart designs that it had so that's that's one of the reasons why i bought it i also love all the pockets and compartments that it came with one two three four five and so i was drawn to it i got this bag i believe at ross so i don't know if they still have this specific one being sold if you like it but i'm pretty sure they still sell these ones with multiple compartments they've been selling it for years i don't think they will discontinue it now in the first pocket, I carry my chargers, my phone charger, and my iPad charger. I'm at school usually for about 12 hours or so each day, so I have to make sure that I carry those with me. In my second pocket, I have small essentials such as my inhaler, lotion, deodorant, and a small bottle of perfume. I usually always carry this one with me even though sometimes in the mornings I will put on a fragrance mist and a regular perfume and I will just carry that fragrance mist with me to keep the same scent. I still like to have this one with me in case there comes a day when I was running late so I wasn't able to carry a fragrance mist or I just didn't feel like wearing some in the morning but as the day goes by I was like you know what let me put a little perfume on so i carry this one with me every single day in the third in the third compartment i have my airpods it's the second generation airpods i love these the best because of the i love the ear shape more than i like the newer ones so i stick to these ones probably if i if these ever go bad i'll still repurchase these I have my wallet. I purchased this one the same time I got the bag. So it also has a few battle scars, but it keeps everything that I need. It keeps my cards, my ID card, my driver's license, a little bit of cash, like about $5 or so. Not much, but it holds everything I need. So I love it. I also have this Summer Fridays lip balm, lip butter balm, sorry. My best friend got this for me sometime last year it smells so good i love it so much and then i have a small bottle of hand sanitizer in the fourth pocket ooh, my bad in the fourth pocket i keep my period pouch where i hold a few pads and liners in here. I also carry a spare underwear. I've never actually used it, but I switch them out when I need to, just in case. You know, you wanna have something clean there, not collecting dust. So I carry this with me at all times. Even though my school does offer free ones in most of their bathrooms, there are some that don't have any, and sometimes a girl may come up to me like, hey, do you have an extra pad? And so I can easily just give it to them. In the final pocket, the very big one, I carry my main actual school items. The first one out will be my pencil pouch. This also comes with three different compartments. I love compartments so much. I honestly bought it mostly for this first part that I'm gonna show you. It flips out. I have over here all the things that I usually use in my bullet journal. Over here, I use all the things, I put all the things that I usually use in my, for my notes rather. Right here, starting from over here, this would be used for, to color code my anatomy class work, my 
neurobiology work and then my thesis stuff over here is the highlighter this is the one highlighter i use for all my notes i use it to highlight the title just to give it some distinction this purple one and this orange one i use them for personal slash when i need to post something for social media if i decide to post something just to remind myself i wanted to post that and then this blue one right now since we're still in january the color that i'm using is blue so this is where i would keep whatever color i'm using for my weekly spread i would keep that color right here we're just going to keep going this direction over here this blue pen is used in my notes for things that i think are important even though it may not be on the test i just found it interesting so i use the blue to underline it or circle it i use the red pen for things that i know for sure will be on the test like the professor said make sure you know this guys it will be on the test i use the red pen for that this is what i used to go through my notes first i use these two pens and i go through them with my notes first this black pen right here i use it to do the final drawer final the final outline of my drawings because i do like to put a lot of drawings in my notes because i like to see things visually i use a pencil to writing things for my monthly calendar weekly to-do list and my six month ahead calendar because things do change so i don't want to write in pen and have to white out all the time so i use a pencil to make it more convenient for me this is what i usually use to take my notes i don't use pencils at all to take notes and so i use a 0.38 muji pen i love this i have run out of this pen more times than i can count i love this pen so much after I'm finishing, after I finish using the pen to go through my notes, I go through it again with two highlighters. The yellow is for stuff that they stood out to me and they can help me with things that are important. While the pink ones is so is for extra emphasis on things that may be on the test as well. We're done with this part. The middle section holes my colored pencils for the drawings that I make in my notes I just grabbed a bunch of them from my from where I keep all my colored pencils so I have options when I'm doing my drawings I have in here a regular pencil just a regular pencil it needs to be sharpened really <laughs> but I have a regular pencil to also do my pre-outline drawings if I don't use my mechanical pencil I will use this one and then I also have in here a regular Sharpie because I found that last semester I needed a Sharpie more times than I could count. So I decided to just throw one in here just in case I don't know if I'm going to need it that much this semester. But I'd rather be prepared. I don't like to be unprepared at all, guys. In the two pockets right here in the back, I have two sticky notes. The colors don't mean anything. They were just the top ones that were in my drawer. So I grabbed them first. And that section is done. This last final section has this cute, this is the cutest, I love this thing so much. It has a mini stapler, staples, a mini staple remover, and a mini tape. It is so cute. I love it so much. I got it, my school had given it out at a, a welcome, a welcome event that they had um, at the beginning of fall semester. So I don't know if they sell these regularly, but I really love it. I have a regular whiteout tape. I rather, I prefer this over the pen because if I'm in a like really note taking zone, this dry, this doesn't need drying time when the pen does. So I love this a lot more. I also have a rolled out paper clip because I'm taking anatomy this semester. I like to use this to follow along or just to like point at the structures while I'm studying. So for instance, right now I'm studying the skull and the TAs, they post videos for us to like be able to follow along after we leave lab. And it can really get into the small parts that you need to do when you're doing the skull. I have a little white for my glasses because my glasses mysteriously get stained throughout the day. So I like to keep this with me. I have a regular eraser 
and I have a few extra paper clips. These are just for actual papers. So I keep those in there. Next up will be my planner that I did make a video on me setting up for January. I can go ahead in here and I can show you my weekly, not my weekly, my assignment tracker. It lists in all my assignments. You see week one is finished. I need to go in now and cross out week two because I have finished the assignments and I have everything down to our final. Next up is my folder. I don't carry notebooks at all because I found that as semesters have passed, I'm able to take concise enough notes that I don't really ever much use the entire notebook. So I find myself wasting notebooks a lot, notebook paper a lot because I can't just start a new subject in an old notebook so i would just be wasting paper so last semester i went around on google and youtube trying to find different ways to take notes and i found you know just taking notes on blank sheet of paper a4 style and guys i absolutely love it if you're struggling to find ways to take notes if you just want to change your note taking style a4 notes are the way to go they are amazing i chose to get dotted paper because i was i didn't really trust myself enough to use regular printer paper but i also found that it's easier for me to draw structures because the dotted lines can help me help to guide me so i prefer this much more than using blank paper but if you just want to go ahead and use regular printer paper that is absolutely fine but i love the dotted paper over here since I'm doing anatomy, I got these cards in a complete box for MCAT study probably a good seven years now. I don't remember where I got it from or who I got it from, but right now we're studying the skull, the, the we're doing the head region. So we're doing the skull, the nerves in the skull and the muscular system of the skull and head region, head and neck rather. And so I have the muscular system, neuron, nervous system and skeletal system and so if i'm not at the library where i can check out these structures i can easily go through these and be able to study with them and they also have answers and explanations on the bag the last thing in the bag is my ipad so i do prefer pen and paper but while in class that's very inefficient for me and my professors they already send out the PowerPoints so that we can look over them, watch pre-lecture videos if they have them. And so I take notes in class on my iPad, following along on the PowerPoints with them. And so I do that in class and then afterwards when I'm doing the study guide or taking notes, that's when I do my paper and pencil. No transfer situation. I can use my pencil right here but I can also pick it up, attach it, and type away. And I keep these right here in the bag. It has a compartment for them. It has the lobster pouch. It's not really padded on this side, but the back of the bag is padded enough so I don't have to worry about it being damaged. I love the straps because they're also padded. Right here on the side, you can see that there is one pocket for water bottle or an umbrella. They only have one, so that could be a disadvantage for some people. But I usually carry a big enough bottle that can't fit in here anyways, so I don't use it for that purpose. I don't generally carry snacks in my bag because I carry a lunch bag. I'm usually at school from around 8 o'clock in the morning to around 9 or so p.m. depending on the day. And so I like to make sure I carry all my food with me in a lunch bag. They also have microwaves all over campus where I can reheat food because I don't really like to buy food on campus. So, yeah, that is all, guys. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye!